Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Wing Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for December 1st, 2022. Well, yesterday we had some excitement. If you remember from the morning prep yesterday, I said to watch for potential whipsaws, to watch for head fakes, and to watch for full-on reversals. Well, I think we got most of that yesterday in the wild price action. First, yesterday, um, the majority of the economic data yesterday was bearish, and the market saw some selling as a result of that. And then we had Jerome Powell come out and suggest that they are going to, in the next, in the, the December uh, meeting, they are going to reduce the pace of the rate increases, meaning they're going to keep raising rates until he said they reach a restrictive level. But that triggered a very powerful short squeeze. Now, when you think about this, if it would have been just a few months ago and we would have said, Jerome Powell said, yeah, we're going to raise by 50 basis points, the market would have sold off. Now we are in an interesting situation here where we're ignoring um, the slowdown in our economy. Um, our PMI numbers have been ugly. Um, we're, we're ignoring that in favor of just lowering the rate of increase, and that's a rally point. So take a look at this chart here, and we will see how we can gain some information today um, as we set up for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks a bunch for being here today. I truly appreciate it. Well, certainly we have made some interesting moves here in the market. Um, we slice through resistance. This is a substantial resistance in the Dow, as if it was not even there. We just ripped through it on a huge short squeeze. Um, we've broken that downtrend to the upside. So you got to give this up to the bulls. They are in large and in charge here in the market. Now, whether or not they can follow through after such a big move, um, that's a different question we'll have to deal with today. So kind of keep in mind that after we've rallied so substantially here, um, in the light that we're going to continue to raise interest rates. Um, don't be too surprised if we catch a little rest or a pullback here um, as a result. You know, sometimes we party just a little bit too hard and then we have to deal with the hangover on the day after. So watch that carefully here in the market. If those bulls can continue to find inspiration, well, where are we going to go? Um, I would suggest maybe up into here we could find the next um, resistance level in the chart. Um, so watch that close and if those bears those bears happen to end up being um, inspired then the only place we can really go is to see the whipsaw of coming all the way back down into here assuming that this uh, support level wouldn't hold so um, you'll want to watch that close if we were to take a look at our spy spy also huge day yesterday just ripping through all of this resistance in the chart um, as if it wasn't even there continuing to push on up now when we take a look at the the spy we have a little bit more to deal with here in that chart noticing that we're just trying to test this downtrend resistance to see whether or not we can break through that level um, now kind of keeping that in mind if those bulls can find inspiration here today then maybe a push up into um, this area um, would be a reasonable area to be looking for if those bears find inspiration well then once again maybe a pullback to that um, breakout level here in the chart and if they push even further down then it would be really a whipsaw all the way back down to this level of price support so um, um, overall if you take a look you got to give still this is a bullish chart you've got to give this up to the bulls they are holding in here holding support levels pushing on through um, just doesn't seem to be um, anything that bothers them when it comes to the economic data. Let's take a look at the QQQ. QQQ also has just a little bit more challenge in here, although they just ripped 
hard yesterday. You can see what they did yesterday as I pushed right up here into that resistance level. Didn't quite make the full break out there. Well, maybe by a tick or two made that break of that high showing lots of lots of bullishness here and that's that full reversal after making a lower high and a lower low in that pattern just a full-on reversal as i kind of mentioned yesterday in the prep now if we take a look um we still have this downtrend here in the qqq to still deal with but we have to recognize the fact that the bulls are large and in charge here and if we see more bullishness here today well where does it go well looking at this chart i would say maybe up into this area if they can push on up and that would really challenge or even break this downtrend here if we could get um, pushed up into that area of the QQQ. So keep an eye on that. And if those bears, if those bears find inspiration, well, since we didn't quite pop this um, with lots of confidence, maybe a pullback into here would be a likely place for a pullback. And if that were to fail, then again, we'd look at the full on whipsaw um for the pullback into that area there so watch that carefully and then our russell iwm well iwm made a big move yesterday a big reversal here we did end up holding on to this support level here in the chart uh, we tested it pretty solidly yesterday and bounced right off of it and a big pop here that breaks this downtrend here for the first time and well in some time i'm going to adjust that up just a little tiny bit um, so we're right up here testing that level here in the chart. Keep a close eye on that. Upside trend is certainly bullish. So when we're looking for price levels in here, where's the next level? Well, if we can pop through this area right in here, then, well, maybe a little bit higher up into here would be um, a likely area to be watching for. And if those bears find that inspiration, Perhaps a pullback back down into this little support area. If that were to fail, then we'd be looking again at maybe the full-on whipsaw uh, back down. So watch that close. Now let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX yesterday just reversed and went big time down. So again, you've got to give this to the bulls. And at the same time, I think this is registering tremendous complacency in the market at this point. We are ignoring all the economic data out there in favor of just buy, buy, buy. I think at some point in time that is going to be a very dangerous proposition with the likelihood of a substantial recession on uh, the way. So watch that closely. Um, if um, we can continue to find that bullishness here to push on down, well, notice we have just a little bit of price support right in here. We would need to break that and maybe push down into this level if those bulls can continue to to push this on down. If those bears were to grab a hold, well, the only thing we can look at here at the moment in this chart is perhaps some resistance coming into play right around in there um, if we were to bounce back up and that would also coincide with this downtrend. But we really are feeling just a little bit on the complacent side here in the market in my opinion. Um, at least that's my two cents worth and it's probably not worth that much. So keep a close eye on that um, if we were to happen to run into some data that reverses us hard. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122 yesterday, we shot up big time yesterday. So once again, here we are. We're back up here in the bearish reversal zone here in the chart. Now what that means for us is that if we can find some bullish inspiration, we still have a little bit of squeeze that we can get up here uh, a little bit higher but we have to keep in mind the longer longer we linger up here that the pullback is you know really in the cards and unfortunately it could be a very painful pullback so just be careful here as we press these resistance levels uh, to the upside t2122 is showing us that overbought condition and it's telling us that we have a very big downside opportunity if those bears find any kind of inspiration in here in the market so watch that close now let's take a look at our t2108 our t2108 
picking back up. It's interesting, although we broke resistance highs here in the market, you'll notice that we didn't make a new high from the recent highs that we've recent uh, that we saw here in the market. So kind of an interesting thing. We didn't quite push all of those stocks back up. Um, even with that explosive move. So watch that closely. Now, one thing I want to point out is we still have some room that we can go up here before we kind of hit some very extreme levels in the market. And you can see over the last few years, this is about as far as we can get um, in that move. Uh, those are very extreme levels. So if we continue to press to the upside, watch this area up in here. Uh, for that potential stopping point. 74% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. So you got to give kudos to the bulls on that. Our T2107, same thing as the case, but this time in T2107, we actually took those stocks, uh, percentage of stocks above the 200 day moving average, as you can see, and we pushed that to a new high. So a lot of bullishness here in the market continuing to press up. Let's take a look in here and back this chart up in here and you'll see that we are uh, quickly approaching a very substantial resistance level in the chart. Um, perhaps the bullishness can push us right on through. We've got 48, 49% of the stocks above their 200 day moving average. So that is very, very bullish. If we take a look at our T2101, our T2101 turned a little corner yesterday. But once again, we, we might be shaking through some of this uh, just a little bit. But if we look at our um, um, volume here, all of our volume came in right at the end of the day. And that volume is all, <laughs> we went from low volume to almost an exhaustion level of volume in the Dow. So keep a close eye on that. A little rest or pullback wouldn't be out of the question after such an explosive move to the upside. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now we do have another full meal deal uh, on the economic calendar here today of um, data that could move us around. First, we've got jobless claims. We need to see those jobless claims starting to build. Unfortunately, what um, the consensus is suggesting is the jobless claims could shrink just a little bit this week. So watch that closely. If they're wrong, we could get a nice bullish move out of that if those claims come in stronger than expected. So watch that closely. Remember, bad news is good news right now when it comes to jobs. When we look at our personal incomes and outlays, um, remember, this includes that core PCE number. That core PCE number, according to the consensus, is looking to move down only by one tenth. So you'll want to watch that closely. That is a key metric for the FOMC. We have PMI manufacturing, PMI manufacturing and ISM manufacturing. Those have both been very weak numbers showing that our economy is in contraction and the consensus estimate is that it will stay in a contracting um, environment. So watch that closely if we get different numbers than what they're expecting. Construction spending, as you know, has been um, um, pulling back, as a matter of fact, the consensus is suggesting that it will go into the negative today. So as our housing uh, pulls back and those housing prices pull back, and not too surprising that the contractors are pulling back a bit on their construction spending. Um, we'll want to keep in mind, we've got um, a couple Fed speakers here today. We've got a natural gas report unlikely to move us around. We've got some bond auctions in here to make note of. And then of course the Fed balance sheet later on today, which doesn't seem to move the market at all. And then as we plan forward, keep in mind Friday, we've got that big unemployment or excuse me, that big employment situation number, um, that certainly has the potential to move us um, substantially. So watch that close along with a, um, 
great offense beak. So watch that carefully. Let's um, take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, um, Thursday is typically our busiest day and I think we have that busiest day again. It's gonna be pretty equal to yesterday, I think. Notables, if you wanna uh, grab the full list of notables, guys, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video. I won't have time to cover them all here in this morning's video. Um, uh, AMBA will be reporting today. Keep an eye on that. We're going to hear from uh, Big Lots. Well, it looks like Big Lots has got a little bit of a disappointment here. One of the retailers that maybe hasn't performed all that well. So keep an eye on that. Um, breaking trend, breaking support. Um, CP, um, excuse me, CHPT. Uh, charge point. Um, you'll want to keep an eye on that in this report. It's been working this downtrend, trying to move up. We're going to hear from some discount retailers, Dollar General. Yikes. Well, that looks like it, that, that uh, hurt just a little bit here in that pre-market. So watch that close. Uh, another retailer feeling a little bit of a pinch here this morning. Let's take a look. We're going to hear from um, TD. TD. Um, we've got a bank reporting a little pop and drop going on here in the bank so watch that close breaking through that resistance if it can hold that higher low and hold on to that trend I think that would be bullish um, we've got Ulta Beauty um, on the list today we're also going to hear from uh, Weber not Got to learn to type here one of these days, guys. You'd think I would, after all these years, I would do better with my typing, but yeah, not so much. So uh, kind of keep an eye on Weber, and last but not least, uh, ZS. So watch that closely today. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. I apologize yesterday, I didn't get a chance to, to answer um, all of those yesterday. I did get in there, I had time to read everything, um, but I will be back on that case this morning. So thank you so much for everyone who does take the time, helps the channel to continue to grow, and I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. Please keep in mind, guys, um, the stretch yesterday means that we could get a little rest or a little bit of pullback. It certainly is possible um, um, after such a big short squeeze. Now, you're going to have to do your own due diligence on these and be very, very careful. There's more buy signals out there right now than you can shake a stick at. So um, I'm going to cover several here this morning, but make sure you're very, very careful how you approach this market and just be willing to be patient um, and wait and see how uh, the day's data comes out and whether or not we're going to hold um, onto this big move that we made yesterday. So first off, I had mentioned to folks in um, HR, um, um, RWO yesterday, um, this chart, um, KHC, KHC, as you can see, breaking some resistance here. Nice bullish chart yesterday trying to push on through. Might be worth keeping an eye on that. Um, a hold up here could be a very interesting chart to pay attention to. As you guys know, I had talked about the possibility of gold moving and oh my goodness, did gold move yesterday. We whipsawed here just a little bit as the dollar fell pretty sharply on that Powell News and you can see gold continuing to push on higher. Gonna say the same for silver. Silver pushing up really strong moves here as the dollar falls, so watch that closely. Seeing really good moves in lots of the metals out there. Uh, take a look at FCX copper moving up pretty strongly yesterday um, as a result of that dollar falling. So. Um, look at look into steel, look into aluminum, look into even things like uranium um, moved up yesterday um, strongly as we lowered that dollar pretty sharply. So watch that 
closely here with any of those industrial metals um, could be a pretty interesting trade. Now, when we look at other places of the chart, boy, you can just go all over just about every sector of the market and find good looking stocks. Nvidia made a huge move yesterday. Um, I increased a position here in Nvidia yesterday, so I may have a little bit of a bias just for full disclosure. And as you can see, we're trying to break out of this little move here. Um, you know, if I were to connect this up, we'll break that downtrend here in the chart, breaking through some resistance levels and holding a very strong move there yesterday to the upside. So watch for that next opportunity, maybe into Nvidia. Um, AMD was another big winner yesterday, pushing on up. Now, AMD's got a little bit more work to do. As you can see, we, we've broken through, we've held in here, but if we look at that longer term downtrend, got a little more work here to do. Um, but I did nibble into AMD yesterday to, uh, and I do expect, uh, and by the way, Nvidia and AMD, I'm looking at longer term positions not necessarily just the really quick swing trade. I'm looking at longer term positions on there. So maybe have a little bias here as well. Keep an eye on those. Um, we saw other really big reversals. Apple, um, despite their production problems, despite all of the pro issues that they're coming into, iPhone sales not doing so well and their production falling hard because of complications over there in China, just a big booming pop yesterday. Now, Apple probably not ready for prime time yet. As you can see, a lot of resistance yet in that chart, but a big reversal um, here in the market. Remember, um, if Apple rallies, the entire NASDAQ will rally. If um, Apple cannot hold this level here, we could see the NASDAQ pulling back a little bit. So you'll want to keep a close eye on that. But other tech stocks zoomed yesterday. Um, we saw Microsoft just huge breakout yesterday. Massive move, pushing up through that resistance here in the chart as if it wasn't even there. So now watch for maybe a resting pullback in there. That would set up a pretty nice opportunity, maybe long in Microsoft. Um, if we take a look, um, other areas in the chart uh, charts, uh, Nike, uh, Nike made a big move breaking out. We're seeing a lot of the retail, um, um, big retail out there making um, substantial moves to the upside. So keep a close eye on those. Um, and there's just everywhere you look, there are uh, bullish signals popping up in the market. Big, strong moves on, on um, yesterday's um, short squeeze now the question is will they hold if we take a look at uh, visa big strong move up yesterday trying to break through resistance we saw paypal uh, whoops paypal um, reverse out of the move down this has still got a lot of work to do but reverse um, there's just a ton of reversals a ton of big bullish candles out there in the market if we take a look at um, axp axp big break yesterday to the upside so lots of happiness out there in the market now let's see if they can hold it or follow through so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day thanks so much for being here i do truly appreciate it uh, once again just a little bit of caution here this morning about chasing in i know there's a lot of excitement a lot of emotion in this market just realizing we have bunch of data coming our way this morning that um, certainly has that potential of making um, uh, some challenging volatility for us. So just be a little bit watchful and careful. Everyone have an awesome day. I wish you all the best in your trading and I'll see you right back here bright and early. Good morning.